Good, Good morning. morning and welcome to St. Thomas. Yeah. Well, you're currently in our room, but we're here. Yeah, we're gonna get to St. Thomas, yeah. but we're gonna go grab some breakfast. Our plan for today involves something we've done before. It's been a little while. Yeah, but I'm excited. I know. It's like we haven't been to some of these ports. I feel like we hadn't been forever. to St. Martin in forever, St. Thomas in forever. It's good to be back. Yeah. We're gonna go try to find some turtles today. <sighs> we hope. Fingers crossed. It's nature. You never know. They I can know. do what they want. <laughs> Let's start with breakfast. Yes. All right. Time to head back to our favorite restaurant in the park. <laughs> this is awesome for breakfast. Park Cafe is calling our names. Ooh, we got dance breakfast this morning. <laughs> so you got the English muffin sandwich. I really like this. It's just a quick grab and grab. Actually, it's warm and they bring it to you, but it is quick. True. Yeah. Muesli, cantaloupe. Cantaloupe sticks. That's my breakfast. I ended up with muesli and a blueberry parfait. This nice looking focaccia sandwich, which I think it had spinach and tomato and Swiss cheese. Had to get a bagel and play with the cream cheeses. This was like a cranberry apricot cream cheese and then sun-dried tomatoes so I don't know I'm just I'm They're excited I'm not gonna mix them I'll do one per half because I do love cream cheese I know it's a big quantity of cream cheese but whatever <laughs> now we have all the energy we need to hopefully wildlife spot uh, those cream cheeses are good I like all those options anyway so we've come up to the pool deck to retrieve some towels to toss in the backpacks now we're ready We are in Crown Bay today. We're so used to coming into Haven site, but Crown Bay makes it way easier to do yeah. what we're trying to accomplish today. We got jams happening. Ooh. Oh, there's a store called Royal Caribbean. I don't know if there's any affiliation. <laughs> All right, we've come to the far side here and I see Crown Bay Marina. And that green canopy in the distance is our land marker. Let's go there. <laughs> Some Tickles Dockside Pub and a water taxi ferry thing. And it should be $15 per person round trip. Right here at the D dock. Okay, 8 o'clock is the first departure. I was wondering about that, but this is the 10 o'clock departure that we are getting on. Island. Now this beautiful safari truck over here should be a complimentary way to get to dinghies. And we're off. Whoop, whoop. Oh, your sunglasses are also off. <laughs> We've made it to dinghies. There's the rental equipment list. You can pay at the bar for any of this stuff. Here is our home for a chunk of the day anyway. <laughs> Super calm. There's hardly anybody down this end. Gosh, before we even get in the water, I gotta look at these cute little chicken nuggets and pick out which one I want for lunch. Mmm, y'all look tasty. All right. Now, we're getting ready, putting our sunscreen on, and I'm hearing folks out here already, already excitedly yelling the word turtle. So, you know what? I think you might see a turtle today. Fingers crossed. From what I remember, yeah, this is pretty sandy. I didn't even bring my water shoes today. There's some grassy patches out there and whatnot, which is probably where the turtles live. A little floating beach bar, which may or may not see some action today. So Splash Splash Mermaid is off in search of wildlife. We're just gonna relax and chill out here. Nice, Ooh, the sun's kinda going behind a cloud, which I approve of. So for the record, this is Honeymoon Beach on Water Island, which is one of the four US Virgin Islands. Dingy's Beach Bar being our stop of choice. We vlogged our day here. Oh gosh, I forgot what series it was. I'm gonna say about two years ago. So $15 per person round trip for the water ferry taxi, which goes from the Crown Bay Marina. Last time we were here, we were in at Haven site, which we had to catch a cab over to the Crown Bay Marina. But if you're in on the Crown Bay side, which is where like Royal Norwegian, I think usually bring you, it's a lot easier to get over here. But, so that was what 30 bucks for us no entry fee here you know we're probably they got the peanut butter bushwhackers back here bar opens at 10 30. 
Um, yeah, the shuttle from the pier to the beach was free for tips. You know, we tip the guy. Uh, we're probably, what, five bucks here, five bucks back. So nice little fairly inexpensive day from the port to come and snorkel and have like an 86% chance to see a turtle or three. You can always kind of tell when somebody's found something because they start excitedly screaming out either someone's name to come look at something or they say, you know, the most obvious is they yell, turtle. So just keep an ear out for the word turtle if you're here. I didn't check uh, Royal Caribbean, but last time we were here, I know they were running some excursions over to Honeymoon Beach. If you ever see Honeymoon Beach on an excursion, this is where you should end up. Now, there's also, I believe, a Honeymoon Beach on St. John. So don't get confused with that one. This is the Honeymoon Beach at Water Island. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, what's the update? I'm getting I'm hearing good things. Turtles! Oh wow. So I found one that was pretty deep and then oh, I came across one that was actually surfacing and so I was swimming right beside it, not right beside it because you don't do that, but pretty close. No, and no. it was surfacing and diving and I got some stellar footage Did you? and I'm so happy. <laughs> so this is not really known for snorkeling mm. except for turtles. I mean, I've seen uh, like two or three other fish and then they said that they saw some sizable fish that were like arguing, so that was fun. <laughs> the fish were arguing? I guess so. <laughs> But I can't wait to see the footage on our beautiful camera. I know. We always come here just for the turtle <laughs> snorkeling. Now, of course, you're not guaranteed to see. Ah! We've... That's me. Oh, you're, sometimes you get attacked by your snorkel mask. Wee! Um, you're not guaran me. guaranteed to see turtles. We've had friends who've come here and snorkeled, and yeah. they said they didn't see any turtles. I've seen two already. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's just you. It's a pretty good shot. Yeah. Just depends on the day, and then the fact that I have, like, a, a turtle on the back of my Oh, that thing. helps draw them. Yeah. They're like, okay, yeah. We Just go. watch out for being attacked by your snorkel gear, apparently. <laughs> so, huh. Yeah, they just blew the horn on that boat. Everybody's loading up over there. That's pretty much going to leave all these turtles for D, because awesome. she's, she's okay with that. There's a few people that are hanging out at the bar, but very quiet day today. And she's already found a turtle of her own. Funny, last time we were here, she would find the turtles. We joke about it. She would find them and she wouldn't like call out or tell anybody so she could have the most time just sitting and looking at the turtles by herself. So cute, turtle. Thank you. All right, give us a play by play of what you're seeing. What's he doing? Eating. Eating. Gonna have. He has crunchy hands. Oh. Hands on him. Oh, he has friends yeah, yeah, him. in low places. <laughs> That's yeah. those. I think they're remoras. They're the well, fish. They are low. <laughs> I can get home. You're not allowed to take a turtle home. Mm. No. Mm. Don't think customs will approve of that. Of course, we haven't really had customs on any of our recent cruises. Just immigration. Okay. Maybe they wouldn't care. Oh gosh, those people are excited to leave. So we decided to go ahead and make the jump and upgrade to the GoPro Hero 9 Black just to see. Our 7s would always give us fits. I think, I think I'm liking the 9s, but I haven't, you know, at least in this moment, have not edited any of the footage yet. But it's got like horizon leveling, so no matter how much I bibble bobble the camera around, it keeps it pretty nice and steady, which I appreciate. Anything that makes me look more professional, I appreciate. <laughs> They're like, gosh, you can look at all that camera level. It's called horizon leveling. The other camera, the Canon, doesn't do that, but anyway, that's all me. That's all me. There you go. Yeah. 
You can always kind of tell when the turtle's going to come up and breathe because it'll start swimming away from you. It typically is not going to come at you and breathe. So you just kind of follow at a safe distance and capture all those paws on camera. So this one has gone down to eat again. He's very hungry this morning. She's going to go search for some more turtles. There goes the Captain Morgan Cruzan Breeze. I think that might have been the ship excursion today. Not sure though. Lots of fish. Now there used to be two beach bars right here and I always thought it was funny because the shuttle would take you past the first one down to dinghies. I don't see the other one anymore so I'm not sure if it's still there. Oh, okay. It's just like here he comes, he's surfacing. He's gonna get all that footage. Kicking me in the face while she does it. <laughs> wow, she just splashed water all over y'all's eyes get some turtle footage but you know what it's worth it <laughs> you hear her evil laugh up there oh my gosh y'all let me try not to go under the water myself while i'm getting water off your face yeah, that's a little better He stayed up at the top a long time. That was awesome. He did. He kept pop. He would pop. And I would giggle. And I was like, I better stop that. See if we can hear him pop. <laughs> That's awesome. So you got turtle surfacing, remora pooping. This yeah. is exciting. Well, I saw it. I don't know if it's on camera. Well, it looks like I'm so close on the camera, though. And I'm like, I'm not that close. <laughs> Plus, I'm going to zoom it like 900 times. No, no, no. So it's going to look like. You have to stay a certain distance. It's going to look like you were touching those turtles with your camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it. It's the best. Oh. <laughs> Got some stingray action now, okay. Bonus sea life. Oh. Is he asking you to name the zones? The zones? Oh. <laughs> we had spied one turtle while we were plopping around, sort of in the zone I'm swimming now, but he's hiding. He went out the hunt is on. Bucket. Oh, the stingray did? Yeah. <laughs> You're probably allowed to go out past the buoys, out but there. yeah, I don't, mm, you can if you want to, but it's probably not advised. Oh yeah, I do see people, they got little pool floaties and stuff <laughs> going out past the buoys. <laughs> They've wandered back down to the far end of the beach and Dee has spied a turtle. Could be the same turtle. <laughs> you never know. We might have like 50 clips of the same turtle, but it's going to be awesome regardless. Oh, <laughs> you know, she is just having a good time with these turtles. She's getting all, she's going to win some National Geographic Awards, I tell you.
I pooped again. <laughs> Remora pooped again. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe that's what they do. It's like. <laughs> well, I mean, they eat and they poop. Yeah, I do that too. <laughs> okay, everybody does that. <laughs> that was cool. He was like, uh, when he was coming up, he must have been itchy because he was like biting his arm. So that's cute. Oh. That's extra fun footage. <laughs> I'm having the best day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so spoiled. The turtles right now. Yeah, I, know. I think it's really just two. And last time we were here, there were some massive ones. These are like normal size. I guess they're green sea turtles yeah i'm not really good at identifying my turtles other than hey that's a turtle i think they're green sea turtles sounds good to me yeah i'll go look it up when i get back <laughs> so we've seen at least two turtles possibly the same turtles over and over but that's all right we've got two turtles in paradise no <laughs> okay but, but like I said, you could probably find a ship excursion to bring you over here. But, you know, we just did this independently. It's easy, especially if you're at the Crown. It's at the Crown Bay Terminal, I think. You just walk over. You pay the ferryman when you get there. There's no advanced reservations. Just hop over. The little restaurant there was called Tickles. You can kind of look it up on Google Maps if you want to see where the meeting area is. But just walk over, grab some tickets. And then all this turtle excitement could be yours. They also have, I'm sure I mentioned it before, but they have peanut butter bushwhackers here. We got those last time. We're <laughs> probably getting them again. Uh, Cause you know, when in St. Thomas and or the Virgin Islands, you got to get the bushwhacker. Oh, she's getting turtle excitement back there. This is just the excitingest video we've done all day. She's splashing away over there, trying to get that nice close, but not too close footage. Oh, oh. Oh, she was just following the turtle and apparently the turtle brought her up here to see another turtle. Turtle booty. Taking a page out of my videography book, huh? Ooh, we're getting up here a little shallower now, seeing some more turtle action. I'm not sure if this is the same first one that she saw that swam away, but anyway. Is that a different one? Oh, it's a smaller turtle. Okay, so we might have at least, I'm gonna say maybe four different confirmed turtles. Ooh, oh, we can make a whole ninja turtle party that way. We got four, and now we just need some pizza and a giant rat and a guy with a cheese grater on his face, and we'll be in business. Of wildlife. <laughs> She's having to choose between watching stingrays or turtles. Hey, hey. Is that the stingray you've chosen? <laughs> I have my elephant in the same shot. Do you have a turtle and a stingray in the same shot? You are going to win all the awards. Oh, cool. <laughs> Well, this is just too much nature excitement. I think we're going to hop out for a little bit. Probably need to reapply sunscreen. I think it's about noon, actually. 
Uh, maybe grab a beverage and just see where the day takes us. And of course, we can still turtle spot on the way in because, you know, we've got a little ways to go here. Oh, you guys, wow. So we don't have any snacks or anything. I mean, you guys kind of are the snacks, so. There's so much nature here. Uh, don't put one of these in your pocket. I know they're pocket sized. Oh. Wow. While Dee tries to entice chickens in the background, we'll take a peek. <laughs> they definitely said they still have the peanut butter bushwhacker. It's not yeah. on the menu. But they or, said they did. Oh, that's right. It's called, oh, I think it's the paddle whacker. Ah. That's the it's one. It's so good. If you like a bushwhacker and you like peanut butter, best of both worlds. Yes. And they got food too. We're going to get an order of cheese fries. Just kind of a snack. Yeah. Cause it's like lunchtime. All right, paddle whackers in full effect. Please tell me it's as good as last time. I hope it's strong. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't get any no tipsy turtles now. Yeah. <laughs> Please come get this paddle whacker. Oh it's gosh, delicious. So and an order of cheese fries. There they are. All right, we are going to hop on this safari truck and roll back to the dock. That was just what we needed. And we're back to the dock. Easy as that. Look at all these gorgeous views. Ah, A yeah. big old ship. There comes our ride. Home away from home. I think that boat just dude it. Home away from home over there. Oh my. Now we'll just walk straight back across the street to the shopping area. Yes. Easy, easy. So all we did was just follow the shopping area right along the water. Oh wow, hey big guys. Stop deck five for some water. Two, seven, one. <laughs> 